The World's End, right, 2013, is the third instalment of Frost and Pegg's Cornetto trilogy, and is, in my opinion, a piece of existential comedy gold. Of the trilogy, consisting also of Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, I believe that this is my favourite. From the clever use of foreshadowing in the names of the pubs, to the outlandish and unexpected yet believable sci-fi plot, it really is something special. One of my favourite aspects to Wright's films is the fact that one-off lines can reveal the entire ending, but they're so meticulously placed that it flies right over your head on a first watch. An example of this is after the train station scene, where they're in the car and Gary says, Anyway, five sounds much better. I think they missed the trick only having three, because if they'd have five, then two could have died and they still have three left. And ultimately, that happens. In this scene where the childhood chums all reunite with Gary, I love the use of the diegetic audio as sound effects. The close-ups of the characters' blank expressions while the clock bell chimes four times is so cleverly placed as it's right after they scorn Gary for arriving at four o'clock. Well then, let's get this antique on the roadshow! Come on, you bellends, we're going to be late. Before watching the film, I had no idea that it was a sci-fi. So you can imagine my surprise when the head of a teenager came flying off in the bathroom scene. His head just came off! No, Gary! The way that the teenagers mirror the friends as they stand opposite each other before attacking establishes the blank versus human conflict right from the start. Also, I absolutely love the fact that during the fight the camera follows a different character as they each pass each other. It really immerses you and places you within the chaos since it's handheld, as well as showing some very well-timed comedic choreography. The performance of the teenage blanks is something to admire in itself too, with their movements looking so robotic that the story feels real. I love that this film also plays with the binary opposite of the familiar versus unfamiliar. The settings and characters are all familiar to the group of friends, yet there is something strikingly odd about it, which is the fact that most of these people are robots. This makes the film not only comedic, but scary, as it plays into the conventions of the horror and disaster genres. This distortion of reality is particularly prominent in the scene where Gary speaks to Sam in the disabled bathroom. There is a two-person mid-shot of them with their reflections also shown in the mirror behind. Not only is this technically impressive, as they would have had to edit the camera out of the reflection, but it shows how reality is not as it seems. Anybody could be an imposter. The ending of this film is one of my favourites of Wright's work with Peg and Frost. Gary standing on the table to assert himself towards the aliens is symbolic of his slight moral high ground, ironic for his character. Even though they are underground in the pub named The World's End, arguably the lowest they can be reflecting their place in society. However, as Gary comes to terms with his imperfections, he steps off the table, since he no longer has anything to prove. Gary walking into the rising sun after the explosion is symbolic of a newfound sense of optimism and purpose. His character development shown in the close-up of him where he is no longer known as a cock, but a king who is sober and lives for others instead of himself. Who the hell do you think you are? Me? They call me the king. As a whole, I believe Edgar Wright's directing work to be some of the best in the industry, with The World's End being a fantastic example of his capabilities. Growing up with his work surrounding me, all the way from when I was a child watching Shaun of the Dead, to being a teenager and seeing some of his latest work like Baby Driver, it has always piqued my interest. And that's why I love The World's End. Let me know what you think of this film in the comments below, and I hope you enjoyed my review. See you next time. Oh, fuck off, you big lamp! <laughs>